I figured it out. I've discovered a hack to add custom thumbnails to your YouTube shorts. I'm not talking about choosing a frame. I mean uploading a custom thumbnail, even though YouTube doesn't allow you. Right now, when you're uploading a YouTube short from your phone, you can scroll the timeline to select a frame from the video to use as a thumbnail. And just like how this looks terrible on long form videos, it looks terrible on shorts. Thumbnails are more appealing to someone watching on the home feed, and they're more likely to choose your video to watch over someone else's. Otherwise, you're gonna have an issue like this, and it's not so appealing, and the thumbnail does not complement the video at all. But here's the hack, and I'm not sure how long this is going to last, so take advantage of it while it's still here. Start by making the thumbnail. It needs to be 1080 by 1920. Personally, I like using Canva.com because it's easy, and they have super simple to use templates for you to get started. But you can use whatever you want. Export your thumbnail, then go to whatever video editing app you use. You have to add the thumbnail in the beginning of the video or at the end of the video before exporting. Don't worry, I will show you how to get rid of this later on. You want to make sure that it's around a second long on the timeline. Export your short and next, you're going to use your phone to upload it. Once you're done, tap the pencil icon at the top left and scrub the timeline for the image that you just added. Add your title and anything else that you want, then upload it as unlisted. Now for the secret step. Better yet, the secret sauce. Go back to your computer, go to the video details page of your short and select the editor. The video editor is a great tool. You can trim and cut clips, add an audio and end screen, and even info cards. Go to the trim and cut function of the video editor and trim off the area you added the thumbnail. Save your changes. Now that image is gone from your video, but remains on your short. Oh, thank God. But there's one thing you should know. If you use a trending sound or audio on your video, you will not be able to make edits to your YouTube short and cut out any part of the video in the desktop video editor. I don't know if YouTube will fix this little secret or they'll keep it, but it is something that you should test out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you're gonna love this video where I share some secret strategies to help your shorts go viral. See you there.